To write the formula for potassium oxide, we go to the periodic table. We look up potassium, which is K. And then for oxide, we're looking for oxygen on the periodic table. That's O. And because we have a metal here, the potassium, and a nonmetal, the oxygen, we have an ionic compound. And with ionic compounds, we need to balance the charges. So we look at the periodic table, and we see that potassium has a plus one charge, and oxygen has a minus two. That means the net charge is not zero. The plus one and the minus two, when we add them up, they don't equal zero. So we need to change the subscripts here in order to make them balance. What we can do is we see if we put a two right here, two times plus one, that gives us a plus two. That'll cancel out our minus two, and that'll give us a formula of K2O for potassium oxide. There's a quick way we can check our work. It's called the crisscross method. In the crisscross method, we take the two, move it down here to the subscript for the potassium, then we move the one over here, but we don't write one. It's assumed that it's there. We remove our charges, and we get the same answer, K2O. So the correct formula for potassium oxide is K2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.